Guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are in Spain, out of the grey clouds, and we are playing at Mijas Golf Course Los Lagos. It looks amazing. We've got the mountains in the background, the sun is shining, blue sky, sunglasses on. This is going to be different kind of vibes today. Playing with my little big brother, because he's younger but much taller, uh, David. Um, so you might see him knocking about, and uh, this is just going to be a lot of fun. Don't know what my handicap is right now, but we'll try and work that out before the end of the video. And uh, yeah, we're just going to see what we can shoot with a rental set of clubs, but more on that later. All right, starting off here on a beautiful par five. It's the ninth hardest on the course, and it is a 499 yard dog leg to the left. Start it up. Yeah, like that. Straight down there. I think we're in the fairway as well. Lovely. Got a relatively long way to the pin, and I'm not feeling like going for it with a three wood on the first hole. It is a par five, so I'm gonna lay up with a seven iron just into the middle of that fairway, um, airing more on the side of the bunkers because there's a stream that runs up the left. It's a good job I did lay up, get over the water. Oh my God, that was an inch from going in. Holy smokes. All right, well, we're alive. <laughs> All right, I've got 102 yards to the pin. I think I'm going full 52, it's uphill. That looks pretty good. I'm not sure if he's got the legs. Oh, it's up there. Got a DIR about 48 foot short of the pin there. That's the only issue. So you've got to give this a fair old whack up the hill. That's way too hard, isn't it? Slow down. Oh, it's not too bad to be fair, considering I've melted it. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh my God, and it's gone a mile. This could be a this could be a four putt to start the day. There we go. Thank God he saved it on a three putt there. Oh man, I thought I was going to get away with a par there, but yeah, that was slippery. Good to know. Catalog it in my head. Let's get on to the second. Next up, we have a 148 yard par three. Some of the tee boxes might be moved up slightly. This is the 17th hardest on the course. This uh, pin is about I think about 100 yards away, so gonna go at it with a 52. That looks pretty good. You ever seen a hole in one, David? Just kidding. Still haven't because it's uh, front edge of the green and it's spun back off. <laughs> That's another thing we need to learn is the greens are extremely spinny here. Uh, so you really need to be playing past the pin. So more club is better than less. Our first ever official cart cam on the channel. Things you love to see. Uh, today, me and David are going to have a match. He's got a few strokes. Uh, currently, after one, we are all square. Um, so, it's going to be an interesting one. What, what, what do you think you're going to shoot, like, over the entire 18 today? Oh, it's a good one. It's a good question. Didn't see it coming. I'm going to say maybe 26 over. 26. All right. I'm going to hopefully shoot less than 20 over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 11, 12. All right. 13. 39 foot here for a birdie just from the fringe at the front. There's a chance. Whoa. Stop now. Oh, it's crazy. The difference is with here in the UK is that when you think it's about to stop in the UK, it does, but here it just goes another like three foot. Let's open the old par account, eh? Oh, I thought I missed it for a second there. All right, our first par of the day. That keeps us at one over as we go into number three. Hole three is as straight as you like. Downhill 323 yard par four and it's SI 15. All right, um, not particularly long a par four. Uh, I'm just gonna hit a five iron because there are some menacing bunkers on either side of the fairway, um, which I don't think I can reach with five iron and it will leave me about 130 in, so. There's actually a chance it hits the bunkers because I've hit that quite well. I didn't see it down, it's very bright out here, but I assume it's somewhere in the fairway on the left. Right, we have 138 to this pin. Um, however, we're directly into wind and everything's coming up a bit short. We just learned that things are spinning quite hard. I think an eight might get a little bit of grip. So I think this is probably the club for me. I caught a bit thin, which might make this a disaster shot if it goes long, long. I mean, I, there might, it might be in a bunker on the left maybe. Now. I've just seen David's which just cleared the bunker and it's rolled 
probably like 20 foot onto the green. So I'm a little bit scared of this shot. Uh, just have to really, really be careful. I'm actually going to think I'm going to land it in the rough. Just let it trickle down. Oh, I've bladed it. But you know what? It might work out perfectly. To be fair, I've done better there with that than a, with a regular shot. That would have been very good, but I've got extremely lucky. Good par. All right. Well, not the best par. Um, but we are on to number four at just one over. Next up, we got a dog leg to the right with water next to the green. 374 yards long and it's SI7. Got a bunker on the right. It's 220 to carry it. Um, I might just be able to do that with driver. I don't really want to hit anything less than three wood. I could hit three wood. I'm kind of wishing that I was hitting three wood, but I'm going to hit driver anyway. I mean, it's my classic snap left, but it's going to play, which is fine. I'll just have quite a long way in, I think. We're not too bad. Uh, I have 180 into the pin, but the ball is beneath my feet, which is a bit of a nightmare. Um, got a huge bunker to carry, like it's 170 odd to carry the bunker. So if I get this over the bunker, I'll be extremely lucky. I've got five iron. Travel, get over the bunker. I'm over the bunker. Oh, what a shot. It's still rolling round. Oh my God, I'm so sick at golf, Nat. So it came over the edge of this bunker here and then it rolled all the way down this. It's called Lynx Golf, guys. Just playing the contours, you know we've got a relatively good chance at birdie. Oh, he's only got a flip and sinked it. He's back to level par. Oh, what a flipping start to the round. This is outrageous. I love Spain. Got to say a big shout out to Mihas Golf Club as well for hosting today. The actual club is beautiful. They've got two courses here, the Los Lagos and also What's the other one called? Los Alagos. I just asked David, he says it's Los Alagos. Sorry, I, I think. Olivos. Olivos, there we go. Fantastic stuff. I think the Lagos course is actually ranked like top 20 in the Costa del Sol. So yeah, unreal. Another par five here. It's the third hardest on the course. Water, water everywhere. And it's 536 yards long. Gonna hit three wood just to feel a lot safer. Uh, than hitting driver because driver is just not working out for me right now, I won't lie. I'm going to blame that on him, but that'd be wrong. I mean, it's probably rolled out 120, so <laughs> we'll take it. All right, I think this is going to be a four shot hole, guys, because it's a long par five anyway, and now I've hit that 130 yards. So I'm going to hit a five iron just because I feel like I make good contact, and then, uh, and then we'll see where we are after that. Yeah, I'll do. God, I love playing golf in this country. It's actually outrageous. And what's really nice is the next video that we do is gonna be in Portugal. So we're just spoilt right now. Right, okay, there's a big body of water right in front of the green. Uh, if I wanted to hit it on the green, I'd have to hit it 260. So we all know I ain't got that in my locker. I haven't even got that with driver at the moment. So just gonna hit a pitching wedge to lay up in front of the water and then, uh, and then hopefully we'll get up and down from about 100 yards. Got that really well. I hope I've gauged the distance right. Yeah, I see it bouncing in the fairway. It had a little heart stopper moment there. Um, I wish I'd thought more about where I was laying up to because I haven't got my set of clubs. I've got quite a hideous gap between a, a pitching wedge, which is going to go 135, 140, and uh, the 52, which I'm now swinging and it's only going, well, I think it's going about 100 on the head. This is 107 yards, water in front, I think that it's probably better to go a bit softer with a pitching wedge. Oh, finned it. Get over the water, please. I'm in. I just didn't, I didn't commit to the shot. That's a shame. All right, taking a drop on the line of entry. All right, gonna hit the 52 now. <laughs> oh my God, I think I put it in the pond again. Stay up. Oh my God, it's sitting on the rocks. It's sitting on the rocks. We're running over there and getting that before that rolls in. Come on, quick, quick, quick. It's actually genuinely sitting on the rocks, guys. I cannot believe it. Um, just because it's a rental set, I'm not gonna hit it off the rocks. I'm not really sure. I think I get free relief, but this is gonna be a blob hole regardless. So it doesn't really matter. 
Like, look at that. That is so lucky. And also hideously unlucky at the same time. All right, this is our seventh shot here, guys, for a double bogey. Um, so that's not particularly good. That's pretty good. I mean, it was a horrible lie, horrible stance, and now we're putting from probably about 15 foot. That is such a bad putt as well. All right, that is a devastating quad bogey. We were having a flyer up until that point, but hopefully that can be our one bad hole for the round. We're heading on to hole number six now, so yeah, there's still a lot to play for, isn't it? I mean, I'm not really playing for a score, it's only for you guys. I don't care what my score is today. This is absolutely electric right now. Hole six is a 415 yard par four. It's the hardest on the course, a pretty daunting tee shot over that lake. Look at this hole, look at the backdrop. It's got a sweet little mountain, a lake at the bottom. Oh, this is bliss. Shot that pretty well. I didn't actually shoot anything in terms of like range. Yeah, we're straight in the middle of the fairway. I was a little bit worried that I hadn't shot anything and it could just end up in the flipping trees. All right, got about 174 to the flag here. We are downwind, it is uphill. I'm going to hit a six iron. Feel like that's just the right play here, so. Oh, that's come out right, sugar. I believe we're in our first bunker of the day, guys. My little one, Eve, and my wife, Kat, they're at the beach today, and it looks like I'm about to be joining them. Hashtag dad jokes. Okay, we're off a, we're off a side hiller here. Little, little distance to the pin. Now check. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, what a shot. Oh. As if. No flipping way have we just hold out with a bunker. Oh, what a birdie. That's probably going to be the greatest shot on this channel for so long. No flipping way. I love Spain. I just saw it and I was like, this, this has got a real good chance. And my God, it's just got in. Oh, what a bounce back. We needed that after that quad bogey on the last. <laughs> you know what's disgusting? I bring this guy all the way to Spain to one of the <laughs> nicest courses that we could possibly play and then he doesn't even see me hold out for birdie. <laughs> Unbelievable. What I a, don't believe it. What a, I mean, I've got it all on camera, mate. It's all <laughs> on bloody camera. All right, on to the next with three over. Hole number seven is a 379 yard Del Gleg to the left with water all up the left hand side and it's SI 13. A um, little bit nervous about this one. Uh, water, the furthest point is 210 to carry which is a really good three wood for me, although it is downwind, so maybe it'll be all right, but I don't really want to flirt with the water at all. So I'm going to take it out the right hand side, but there is a fat bunker. Not that, not that bunkers are a problem for us guys, because you know, we'll just make it, but. Stay out of that bunker. Might need to carry it. Yeah, we carried it, but that might be a bad thing because we're now into the trees. <laughs> now you're thinking, Tom, you're playing pretty well considering you're using rental sets. Well, it actually turns out that the only stiff rental sets they have are the exact same clubs that I just stopped playing, the uh, Cobra Forge Tech X, and then they've got like the LTD X in the sort of like stiff driver and three wood. And then they've even got my old putter, so it's like perfect for me. So yeah, that'll probably be why. So I've come straight through the trees, probably hit that three wood about 240, I think, which is mental, but it was downwind. We've now got about 150 into this pin. I'm going to hit a seven iron up and over the trees to get back onto, well, where we need to be, really. Oh, that's a bit left. Okay, I'm not sure. I didn't sit down, which is worrying because there's a lot of water over there. Okay, guys, from over there, I pulled it hard left and I think I've ended up in this ball. I can't find my ball anywhere. So we're dropping on line of entry. And now we need to try and get up and down for a bogey. Oh, that is so lucky that hasn't ended up with the water. All right, we have got a putt. All right, bogey secured. <laughs> Made the best we could out of a bad situation there. We've got another par three here. It's supposed to be 210 yards long. It's SI5. I'm not sure if it's playing that today though. 
come around. That looks pretty good. Come on. I think it's just on the front edge. Got a 33 footer here, just from the fringe. Not a bad putt, we've got about, well, tapping really. That's another par, and I believe through eight holes, we are now four over, which, yeah, I'm flying, I'm loving this. Next up, we have a 341 yard par four, and it's SI 11. All right! To be fair, if you do stick someone right of me off a tee box, is a very good chance that I will hit straight at them. Fortunately, that one has skirted them by about five yards. 155 playing 160 to the pin. I'm gonna say that's probably a seven. That's really good. Hopefully it's the number. That could be really, really good. Really, really good. So we just pulled up to my brother's ball. Uh, I had 155 yards in. He has got from his drive, 85. So he is literally, you've struck me by about 80 yards there with drive. I think he's hit about 290. Just got a nice little read off David there. Uh, we've got 18 foot up the hill for the birdie. Oh no. Oh wow, that's gone miles past. Oh, piss. That's annoying. That was a, that was a silly one. Oh well. All right, a bogey to finish off the front. All right, currently through nine holes, I am five over. Uh, David's having uh, not the best time. Well, you are having the best time because you're getting to spend the afternoon with me. <laughs> um, but said it, not me. in terms of scoring, it's not where you really want to be, but you've just had a couple of blow up holes. Like. Yeah, yeah, short game just isn't there at the moment. Some oh, of the nice. drives are good, but yeah, all right. Need a, need a little bit more practice. Exactly, oh, I mean, David, David is more like, come and play golf with me on my birthday and then while we're in Spain like once a year so it's not like he's playing all the time um, so I did look my handicap today is 11 so currently we are shooting better than our handicap I could be a lot lot better than the handicap but you know some moments have gone my way like for example holding that from the bunker which never happens so we'll <laughs> take that we've rounded the turn we're on to a 408 yard par 4 and it's the second hardest on the course Oh, that might find the bunkers on the left. Great strike, so it can't be upset. It's just... Oh, we might be short of them. Nice. I won't lie, guys, I've been so confused this whole round because we keep them coming up to like the yardsticks. That's 100 there and that's 150. And I'm like 175 yards away from the pin. Obviously, we're in Spain, so it's all in meterage. So, uh, got a seven iron here. Let's see what we can do, eh? Oh, well, that is... Potentially going to work out as the most aggressive top. Oh my God, is that going all the way on the green? <laughs> oh, 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 God. David is just in the car absolutely fuming. <laughs> I mean, you know what? Look at, look at his face. <laughs> you know what? It's better to be lucky than good, they say, isn't it? We've got a 60 footer for birdie here after just rolling onto the green. Um, yeah, see how this works out, eh? Uh, distance might be okay. All right, no, it's going to keep on going. All right, no, the distance was half decent. I just, just made an absolutely dreadful putt that went about five foot right off the bat. Oh, I just knew I was about to push it. I'm an idiot. Oh, three putt the last two greens for no reason. Oh, that is so poor. What a waste of two shots. If you watch the channel long enough, you'll know that I'm an absolute head case. So you'll know that I was standing over that putt thinking, you're going to miss this because I missed the last one of that range. Hence why I've missed this one as well. I am actually a psycho. Next up, we have 160 yard par three and it is SI8. Not a particularly long one. I feel like we might be up a tee box maybe. I'm definitely hitting it off the right hand side here because there's a tree literally right in front of us. Oh, that is so bad. That's got to travel. Fatted the life out of it. Yeah, that's, that just felt so uncomfortable over that shot. Oh, I flipped it too hard. 
fight. Oh, I'm a psycho. All right, I've got 60 foot here for par. I think I might have needed to hit it a bit harder than that. That is, that is truly woeful. What on earth is that putt? Oh, 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 God, I have literally, I feel like I'm throwing this away right now, I won't lie. All right, it's a double on a 100 yard par three, oh dear. Hole number 12 is a 359 yard par four and it's SI10. Pretty long, meaty par four this one because it's got a lot of uphill in it. I've just done the same as David. Philip! Yeah, I need to get out of my own head because this is ridiculous. <laughs> well, me and David are a little bit perplexed because we found the balls are like 170 yards up in our fairway. So either someone's come and thrown them back into the fairway while we weren't looking, which I don't think happened, or we both hit a tree and landed right next to each other, so. Oh, I've hit it thin, but that might work out as well. My brother's just, me and my brother have just literally done exactly the same thing there and hit that thin. <laughs> We've got that moment where both of us walking onto the green, we're both playing Kirkland's, I've got a four and David's got a three. Now one of them is just there in the fringe. The other one, unbelievably, is currently at about 15 foot. 15 foot we're, both walk, we're both walking over towards the ball that's <laughs> closer to the flag, that's for sure. Who's it gonna be? Let's have a look. Oh, it's a three, nuts. Yeah. I have to go back to the cart as well to go and pick up the flipping wedge. All right, it's releasing. No, it's got to stop. Like, there's no way that that's ever going to stop anywhere near the pin, so that's as good as I can vote for. Ah, oh, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah, this is one that you don't want to miss. All right, it's another bogey. I mean, I haven't played particularly well through the last three holes, so. I can't really complain. All right, so when we're in trouble with the scoring, I know how to solve the problems. When I'm in my own head, the only way to stop the voices is to have a drink, so. Get it down, bruv. Cheers. Another par five here. It's the fourth hardest on the course. It's 520 yards long, what a hole. Oh my God, that is so bad. <laughs> I wasn't even in my own head there, I just stink. <laughs> this is just a simple layup, to be honest. Just hitting five iron, just trying to get it down there as far as possible. No, oh, left contact, but it's down there. All right, just finished my ham and cheese sandwich and a banana. And I've got 120 yards to this pin. A little bit into the breeze. Got my pitching wedge, it's gonna be a full one. That's pretty good. I mean, it's great contact. Problem is, I might have hit it too good. Nope. On the green, spun back. A little bit of sauce on that one. Oh, it's a tap in, but I wanted a birdie. All right, we got, we got a par. It's a miracle. Hole 14 is a 353 yard par four and it's SI6. Can't hit it into that bunker up there, so I can aim at it. Wow, that is a stinger. It's stinger season, baby. I don't usually try this, but I'm gonna try and hit a big nine. Uh, pin's 148 yards away, a little bit downwind, so I feel like I can get it there. I'm feeling like I wanna go flag stick hunting, you know what I'm saying? I've caught it really well, just a bit left. I have no idea what's happened with that. <laughs> it could be anywhere. Right, that was a mistake because now I've absolutely screwed myself. We short-sided ourselves in the bunker off a down slope. It's not looking particularly good, guys, I won't lie. I'm lucky not to have a fried egg, to be honest. It's almost sitting straight in the flipping divot. All right, we've already had one amazing moment today. I oh, don't think this is gonna be one another one, though, because that, this is horrific. Get out, don't roll back in. Just Ned didn't have any confidence over that at all, guys. Wow, that is, 
I tell you what, I was not expecting to get that close from there. Come on, we need one of these to go in now. Oh my God, how did that roll over the edge and not even move? Oh, that is disastrous. Oh no, we don't like to see that. Which means we have to play the rest of the blooming course in par to shoot our handicap. No, that doesn't matter. We're here having fun. I'm drinking a Magnus, I'm in the sun with my brother. It turns out neither of us can play well while the other one is playing well. It's either like double bogey par and then vice versa, like whoever's getting the hole on their side. Hole number 15 is a 466 yard par five. It's one of the easiest on the course at SI 16. I'll do it. Because that is absolutely ripped. For a free wood, couldn't have hit any better. Well, we're 230 away from the green here and I was thinking, you know what, I could go for it. But then I've looked at the arc course after that last hole and there is, uh, well, there is a bunker on every single side of this hole. So no, not gonna happen. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I think that's really good. Hopefully I haven't hit it too far into the bunker. All right, let's see if we can put this close, eh? That's pretty good. Checked up a little bit hard. It's managed to stay on the shelf though, than rather than rolling back down. So we've got a pup for birdie. Uh, I feel like I could have done a lot better from back there. We've got 24 foot for a birdie, so. I was really expecting that one to turn off this slope, but it just never did. <laughs> All right, a par. We're quite lucky in the par fives at the moment. Unfortunately, because of that par five that I made a quad on, they're not actually going to be very good scoring average for me, despite playing most of them well. We're moving on to the easiest hole on the course. It's 142 yards long and it's a par three. All right, we've got 120 yards this pin. Not really sure what the uh, markers on the scorecard are about, to be honest, because it says it's like 146 meters off the scorecard. It's about 108 yards. I can't even see a tee box that would allow that. That's got to turn a lot. It is drawing, but just not enough. All right, it's on. It is on. We've got 42 foot here for birdie. There's a chance. Slow down now. It's going to roll a long way. Oh, I have as well. All right, nice par. Hole number 17 is the 14th hardest on the course. It's 342 yards long and it's a par four. Well, you're not going to get in a bunker when you do that. That is really, really awkward because I was really hoping to get in without looking like a tit. <laughs> I mean, it's not over yet. Uh, we've still got opportunities here. I'm going to hit this five iron up there. I have not calculated how close I am to that bunker. But thankfully, I'm short of it, which is what I was expecting. And for those of you who are wondering how the match is going, currently I'm dormy with the last two holes to play. So David's got to win these last two, which currently he's looking on track to do because he absolutely piped a drive. He's probably ahead of my five iron right now, I won't <laughs> lie. In fact, Always we're dead twice. level, we are dead level. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that I can at least tie you here because that would be good. Yeah, expect a draw, guys. Expect, expect a draw. draw. Expect a draw. All right, we've got 65 in here. Pins at the front. Oh, f why do you have to talk about the ground being hard, you melt? All right, I shouldn't have been blaming David there. That was my own fault. Um, 39 yards to the pin now. Realistically, kind of want to hole out. I know it's not going to happen. We've already had that. We've had our months or years worth of hole outs today already, so. Go on, run. Oh my God, it might actually go. Oh, okay. I thought there was a chance it was going in and then it literally just stopped. <laughs> oh, it's gone so far as well. How have that gone so far? That is cruel. Okay, fair enough. I don't think I deserved that quite so badly there. So that is unfortunately a triple, which now puts me three over my handicap at plus 14. Oh, that is agony. Agony. Oh, well, we're still out here having a nice time in Spain. Can't beat it.
And to finish it off, we've got hole 18. It's 332 yards long and it's SI 12. My only goal now after that is to beat David. So I just have to not let him win this hole. Um, so gets a stroke. Oh, I've done it again. Go along the cart path. Just go along the cart path. Oh, David's loving it. I'm going to put that entire of this hole on camera for both of us so that you can see how this match ends. Oh, that's in danger. Oh, it's, I think it's been kicked out into the pine straw stuff, into the wood chips. I think you're all right. L looked like it was going in the driving range, that one. In the spirit of match play, I'm going to go for this. I don't know what David's ball is looking like, but um, I've got about two tens to the middle of the green here. I'm going to hit hybrid. Oh, sugar. That is so left. Oh, it's safe. It's short of the bunker on the left-hand side. We're okay. Unfortunately, the problem is, is that we're right next to the driving range, so there are balls everywhere. That's not you, no way. What's that one? Is that yours? There's no way. <laughs> off, that is your ball. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> off, he's bounced right into the middle of the f***ing <laughs> fairway. Oh my god, you lucky, lucky son of a gun. Yeah. I mean, for right! I mean, I could have been nice to you. I looked at you and I looked at your stance. So I was like, that is going straight right. But in the spirit of competition, I thought, fuck him. <laughs> I guess that is the question though. If you do see your mates set up wrong, do you tell them just before they're about to swing? Because I feel like it's an unwritten rule that you don't. I'd prefer you didn't, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. And I want to make my own mistakes. I want to live with them. There's, I mean, there is literally guys on that fucking, that is literally. I think that might be the that chipping. that is where the ball has gone and that is the chipping green there could he be over the back, some there. dead old senior up there and we've Go got on. it all it was this guy it was this guy here not me the other guy all right got 44 to the middle of the green whilst david goes and looks in the car park for his ball um i think it's out of bound regardless so this holds pretty the match is pretty much won which is a sad way to win it but you know we take them dubs um 44 to the pin so just got to make sure we get it there I have literally only just got it over the bunker. That is, well, I've fallen apart in this last couple of holes, guys. I won't lie. He's currently up in the car park looking for the ball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's going to be dropping it. It's a staked area. I'm going to just play it and play his lateral to give him a chance. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, wow. I'm going to regret giving him that. All right, so David's putting for five. I'm putting for four. He has a stroke, so he's actually effectively there for the same as I am, all the way over there. Okay, I've got 48 footer, kind of uphill to the pin for par. Now slow down, slow down. Oh my God. And I'm farther away than him, and I'm gonna give him a line. All right, big putt here for the match. For the draw. All right, that is for a six. six. I need to make this to tie the hole and win the match. All right, come on. For the inaugural Roberts Spanish Championship. <laughs> and he's won it. Oh. Well played, David. Well played. Right. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have and you'd like to see more from me, then just click right here.